name is Emma Fury and I'm in film and video. Brianna Yime Tracy and I am in theater. My name is Eileen Reinagle and I am in creative writing. Uh, my name is Michael Klein and I'm in music. Paige Hershey, visual art. My name is Leonard Smith and my art is dance. I've been going here for two years. Three? All four. Three. I've been going here for two years. I've been attending CASA for two years now. Three. Four. Three. Two years. Uh, this is my first year. Four. Started my sophomore year because I wasn't accepted my first time. I black. <laughs> the thing that I will miss the most about CASA is probably the connections that I've made with people here. I'll miss the people. Well, I mean, yeah, I miss the people. It's good people here. My best friends. Probably the teachers. Probably the people. I miss the people the most. The community feeling. I think I'm gonna miss Mr. Corman's dad jokes. The people. <laughs> and the memories. We were sitting at lunch and everything. I was sitting at lunch with my friends there and I, we, had, we had hot dogs for lunch. We were just chilling, having a good time. And I put, I put a lot of ketchup on my hot dogs. And I was messing around, and I put this hot dog in my friend's face for whatever reason. He smacked it, and it landed plop on my head. And ketchup was everywhere, and I ended up having to take a bath in the Casa bathroom. And it was the funniest thing ever. It was like the last day of school. Um, in my freshman year, and everybody brought a bunch of water guns, and everyone got in trouble. And th we were throwing water balloons around Temple. I was given a tent for Christmas, and <laughs> Mr. Yulm had told us we weren't allowed to build it, but <laughs> we insisted, so every time he would turn around or walk out of the room, we would throw parts back to, like, widen them, and they, like, started building it, and then a bunch of us all went in there and hid, so when he came back in the room, he was like, so I was, it was, I was in world history in Mrs. Leonard's class, and it was a pretty small class, and we had a lot of fun in that class, and we talked a lot, and there was a lot of discussion, and in one, one day we were talking about some random, I don't remember what, there were only two guys in that class, it was me and Noah, and Noah wasn't there that day, so it was just me and a bunch of different, a bunch of girls. And so at some point in the day when we were in that class, somebody was joking about the fact that I was like outnumbered. And like I was like, you know, alone in all of these girls or something. And then I was like, and then people were, it just kind of went on for just a little bit like that. But then I was, I was trying to prove that I was strong. And I was like, I was like, I'm, I, you know, I can stand, stand the, I can be stronger, but I was gonna stand my ground. And I was like, the way that I justified that was I was, I, was, I just kind of was like, I'm the Taurus. And it was like so, cause that's like the sign. And I was like, I don't know, it's so dumb. But what was great about it was that I made everyone in the class laugh, and like everybody cracked up. My favorite teacher is Ms. Christ. Tied with Mr. Campbell, is that allowed? I'm gonna say Ms. Christ. Probably Miss Ryder. She definitely taught me how to be a better reader and a better person as a whole. Mr. Boyer. A Stu before she left and Miss Dean right now. Mrs. Ryder. That's really hard, but probably Mrs. Batista. Mr. Boyer. Miss Ryder's been my favorite teacher. Either Miss Christ or Miss Ryder. Mrs. Ryder. Probably Mr. Boyer. It's a very love-hate relationship, but overall Mr. Boyer. Mr. Boyer by far. Uh, but I mean second best is Miss Christ because she's just awesome. Um, Miss Ryder hands down. I love her to death. She's my favorite. I love her dogs and she's really cool. I've really liked all of my teachers here. Um, I'm really sad that I have only had Mr. Corman for one year because he's definitely been like the teacher that's impacted my life the most. I genuinely think he like supports our work and makes us feel like we can do anything, makes us feel like we can achieve our dreams. And I know that sounds stupid, but genuinely like I haven't had a teacher who's cared about us that much and like felt like my friend and also an authority figure at the same time. One thing I would tell my freshman self is to focus on my art wholeheartedly and passionately and not worry about what anyone else is saying.
don't procrastinate and do your work way ahead of the time that it's supposed to be due and not in the morning. Put in all the work now so your senior year is easy. Don't eat Taco Bell every day. It gets easier. And it really does. High school is not as bad as you think it is. It's, it's rough, but it's not as bad. Maybe to come here sooner and leave the other school. You should have left that school sooner, man. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> the things get harder, but there's still, there's still good things that happen. Uh, don't worry about things. Just stay focused. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. Do what your heart wants.